I'm really proud to be supporting the MSC for Sustainable Seafood Week 2021. I'm here at Brixham Harbour and I've chosen a wonderful haddock, one of Britain's most popular fish. Now the message this year for Sustainable Seafood Week is all hands on deck. We want to get as many people behind the national seafood movement to choose sustainable seafood, not just for this week, but for the future too. When you choose fish with the MSC label, you can be absolutely sure of where it's come from. Not only that, you're protecting communities, livelihoods and traditions of fishermen all around the world. And most importantly, making a sustainable choice means that we have fish for the future. And we all want that, right? So I got the fishmonger to cut this lovely piece of haddock and uh, I asked for the top loin, so I've got that really lovely thick white flakes. We're going to bake it in the oven uh, with one of my favourite vegetables with fish, which is fennel. It's got that wonderfully kind of light aniseed flavour, which is so delicious for seafood. Um, some lovely salty olives, some sweet onions, garlic and some dill. And I'm going to use a kind of um, oxidised wine. You can use sherry for this. Um, maybe even a little bit of perno uh, would be fantastic to sort of create a lovely baking liquid with a fish. And that's it. Nice and simple. All done in one pan. So the first thing we need to do is just trim the fennel of any woody outside thick bits like that and you want a nice sweet heart that's left. So it's going to cut it into wedges um, through the middle keeping the root intact. You want really nice chunks of fennel. It's going to braise down lovely and soft and then I've just got some white onion. I'm just cutting that nice and thin and I'm going to do the same with some garlic as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we've got um, our oil nice and hot in the pan. Uh, we're going to take our fennel wedges and we're going to fry them very gently just to get a nice light bit of colour to them. A little salt. And turn the fennel once we've got a little bit of colour. And we're just looking for sort of a, a light caramelisation and uh, looking for that fennel just to soften down uh, nice and slow so we can encourage that wonderful sweet aniseed flavour out of it. So once you've got some nice colour on the, on the fennel, we're going to add a really good glug of white wine. That's going to form the base of our cooking liquor. And we want that to really boil down. At this stage, I like to put a lid on. And we're just simmering the fennel in that wine and olive oil, just to get it to soften a little bit more. Then we'll take the lid off allow the liquid to reduce right down and then we're ready to bake it with the fish. So the fennel's starting to soften. I've got a wonderful sort of winey, light aniseed sort of smell. I'm going to add the finely sliced onion and the garlic. Make sure that's amongst everything. And then we're back on the softening process. And the onions and the garlic can release their sweet flavours into that liquid. So the fennel has uh, really softened now. You can just see how that's all wilted. We've got a really nice sauce in the making. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that lovely fillet of haddock, skin side up, and lay it on top of the fennel. We're then going to add a nice few salty olives in there. And I've got the oven preheated to 220. It's going in the middle shelf, uncovered. And I'm just going to leave that for six to seven minutes just to allow that haddock to cook. And we'll finish the dish and then we're ready to go. So I really like to use my frying pan as a finishing pan in the oven. And uh, don't do the usual thing, which is try and grab it with a, a towel in your hand and obviously make sure that it's got a metal handle. So what I'm going to do is to, is to lift the haddock and that bed of fennel onto a plate. And then using a spoon, I'm gonna carefully lift off that skin of the haddock. So the skin comes off nice and easy when the fish is properly cooked and you get that lovely pattern of the haddock. And then we're going to take this pan, it's going back on the heat and we're going to finish our sauce. So we're going to add a little salted butter and then I've got some dill. I'm going to add that to the butter. I'm going to swirl that around to emulsify the butter with the remaining juices in the pan so that everything is really, really beautifully coated and you can see how wonderfully sticky that is. So you've got the garlic in there, you've got the salty olives, that sweet dill. I'm going to squeeze in some lemon juice at the end just to freshen it up. And then the remaining bits of fennel, some lovely olives. What a wonderful way to celebrate Sustainable Seafood Week. A wonderful juicy piece of haddock baked on fennel with white wine and black olives, and a little sprinkling of dill. It is absolutely delicious. 
We normally think about haddock in batter and eat it with chips. But baked like this is an absolute revelation. You've got these really wonderful, quite meaty flakes. It's simple, it's delicious, and it's sustainable.